Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Before we get started today, I need to introduce to you, you guys two of our brand new products to complete our whole not polished powder everything collection. And what we have here today is our Triple X Bond Primer. It's a non-acid primer and it works with perfectly with our powder and our new, guess what, monomer. All right, guys, you guys been asking for this for a while. It's been like three years, babe? Yeah. yeah, but it took us a long time to find the perfect formula for our powder. And guess what I have here today? Actually, in my latest uh, few videos, this is the liquid that I've been using with our product. So guys, and right now, this is the only side that we have available is the 32 ounce. So make sure you guys check it out. You will love it because I've been testing it for a while and I'm very picky with my uh, monomer. And I know you guys have been waiting for the last, I mean the winner to our last video. And the winner is Dawn Walker. Congratulations to you Dawn, it's super freaking hot right now, I'm sweating. But congratulations to you Dawn and please send me a DM on my Instagram, okay? Because I don't want to get it get lost in a lot of other things, but um, so Congratulations to you, Dawn, and for today's nails, we'll be doing some red and black goth vibes, flowers, super easy, super easy. I really meant it this time, it's super easy. All right, guys, check it out. And don't forget, we, we are having another giveaway. We are, same thing, watch the video, answer my question in the comment down below, and guess what? I have a new collection coming soon also. <laughs> Only one collection. One collection. <laughs> and actually Babe, I, I think you should spin around. Look, look like look on the side. They look on the side view. Wow, look what? at that side view. Oh. I actually only have uh, I am 35 weeks today. So I am due really, really soon. So um Oh, take a breath. Yeah, super hot in here. <laughs> Anyways guys, uh make sure you enter our next giveaway to our next video. All right, check it out. <laughs> All right, guys, I already have the Not Polish Universal tips on, and today we'll be using number 113 from Not Polish. And what I really love about this color is it's really easy for you guys to ombre also. So this color is almost like a fool's proof ombre color along with our really, really popular color is number 101 soft white, which I'm not using today, but I just want to put it out there for you guys. All right. And make sure you keep the shape of the nails. Okay. And this product is not too runny, not too dry. So it's the perfect consistency, especially for beginners to work with. For the second bead, you want to place about 99% close to the cuticles. Clean your brush, dip it in a little monomer, and flush the product into the cuticles because we don't want thick products around the cuticles because that can cause a lot of lifting. And um, when you over, and when it's really thick around the cuticles, you're gonna keep. When you over file, when the clients come back for a fill, you will see the ring of fire. Okay, so make sure you make it really thin around the cuticles to prevent all that. I'm just gonna press it into the shape all right and for you guys that really want to practice one bead application is I suggest you um, again I don't have a video for the liquid to powder ratio yet but my suggestion is you can practice on the smallest finger first which is the pinky so it once you get that down you can kind of understand the consistency of the product or how much you need to pick up then you can try to move to the bigger fingers which means it's like the ring fingers or the middle finger and index and the thumb but always start out with the pinky first because it's the smallest and um, it's probably will be easier for you guys to work with if you're practicing your one bead application okay and again we're gonna go in to pre-shape the nail first as you can see i'm always using this cross bit and what i love about this bit is it's a safety bit so i will demonstrate for you guys to see how that it does not cut your uh it does not cut through your skin okay 
and um, and it allows you to get super close to the cuticles also. A lot of safety bits do not allow you to get too close to the cuticles because it's a safety bit. It doesn't allow you to get too close to the cuticles because it does, that's the whole point of it. It's supposed to prevent you from nicking the client's um, fingernails, I mean fingers, right? So it does not let you get too close to the cuticles, but this allows you to get super close to the cuticle without cutting the client's fingers. I mean, if you really try to, it might, but it should not, okay, you see this? So I have this still running, but you can see that it does not, you see that? It does not cut my um, skin. Now I'm just gonna go in and file the nails, make sure that it's super straight, and make sure you clean down, uh, file on the bottom of the nail also, just like that, to make sure that it's really nice and straight throughout the whole thing and you have nothing hanging on the bottom of the nail so make sure you get the bottom of it also and and make sure you buff it out nice and smooth before you start on the nail art okay and i know i want to start a video i want to make a video for beginners but um i just been really focused on the nail art aspect of the whole tutorials lately and i will get to it just bear with me <laughs> and um i'm just using a black gel right now okay guys this is a black gel polish and then we're gonna paint the other fingers also with black gel. So all I'm doing right now is I'm painting a base color for the nail art to go on top. Okay, guys, I'm just painting it with a gel polish. And if the polish is thick enough, I'm just going to stick with one coat. I don't need to be doing two coats, then it might be a little bit too thick. So if it looks like it's good coverage after one coat, I'm just... okay do not cure it when it's wet when the gel is still wet when the blossom gel is still wet I'm gonna go in and paint um, my roses with a white gel polish and what's really easy about this design is once you paint on the white gel you just go in a pattern of a rose like a vintage rose as you can see like I'm just working in pattern and the blossom gel just takes over and just does its thing what it does is it kind of like spread the gel out and give it that effect of a uh, blossom like a flower that is blooming okay guys that's what makes this design extremely easy and I'm just gonna go in and all I'm doing it just painting on my white gel polish there you go and once you think that the longer you work with it the more it will spread out so don't take too long because the flower would look like it was too much um too well blossom <laughs> all right and then you cure that for 30 seconds after that's cure we're gonna work on our next nail which is this nail and the same thing i am just applying on the blossom gel and again we do not cure the blossom gel okay i'm just gonna clean off the edges first 
and then I'm just gonna go in with a white gel polish again and paint all my roses there you go we're just gonna go in with the white gel again okay if you cure the blossom gel it will defeat the purpose of the whole process okay and you won't get this effect so blossom gel do not cure paint your white um, roses on and then once you're done with that then you cure the gel and the longer you let the white sit on top of the blossom gel the more spread out your flowers will be so it just depends on how spread out you want your flowers to be that's how long you're just gonna let it sit on top of the blossom gel right and I'm just gonna go in and just draw my roses just like that Now that looks good. I am gonna cure it for 30 seconds in the UV lights. And what I'm doing right now is after the, um, the design is cured, I'm just gonna go in and def give it a little bit more defined lines like that with a white gel polish again. Just wherever, I'm just gonna add a little white lines into the roses just to give it more definition when I paint on the red gel later. You see, I'm just gonna go in with a white gel and just Add to it just a little bit, just like that. And then once that's done, we're gonna cure it under the light for 30 seconds again, okay? We're gonna cure it under the lamp when this is done. All right, now this is done and cure. Now I'm gonna go over it with a red gel polish. It's just any red gel polish you want and just a light just one light coat first and then we're gonna cure it and then same goes for the other nail one thin coat of red gel polish and then you're gonna cure it also under the lamp and if you guys want it to be darker we're gonna go in and apply a second coat like this okay if you're good with the bright red, you can stick to it, but I want it a little bit darker, so I'm just going to go in and apply another thin layer of the red gel on it. And I'm when I'm done, right, I am going to wipe it down with alcohol because if the surface is too sticky with the sticky residue, when I go to apply these tapes on, it won't stick. So you see how I wiped it down first and then stick on my tape, and you notice how I kind of left... A little bit off the edge just like that I don't tape it all the way to the edge because that can cause lifting and the tape can peel off so you want to leave a little space at the edge just like that don't cover it don't cover it all the way to the edges because it can peel off really easy and I'm just gonna go in and draw on my black gel just like that you see All right, same for this nail. I wiped it down with alcohol first, and then now I'm just gonna go in and put on these little tapes. And then we're just gonna use a little scissor and just trim it off like that. And then I'm gonna go in with a black gel. I'm just gonna finish that off and once that's done we're gonna cure the gel for 30 seconds right the black gel for 30 seconds and I'm just gonna go in to make sure that I trim off any pieces of the tape that's hanging out like that because even with a tiny piece of the tape hanging off later on you put on the gel and if it's sticking out it can cause it to peel off when the clients go home or anything like that so you just have to make sure that it's really really flush into the nail and after you're done with that, I am going to put on a gel base, any gel base, okay? The reason being is because I want to make sure that the tape is really secure 
on there so I'm just gonna put on a gel base first and I'm gonna clean off the edges like that and then we're gonna cure it under like 30 seconds and what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna go in and fill everything is, is a hard eight like hard nine to me um, and this one like is, is no exception so I'm not gonna fool around our thing listeners thing. grab your Kleenex rough it out just like that. Just gonna I'm hoping make sure that the tape is really really flush to the nail okay and nothing is sticking out not, nothing is hanging off that it can cause it to pull off or peel off and and then now with the rhinestone I'm just using um, diamond glue it's a squeeze tube from not polished convenient and it does not dry sticky so it's really super easy to work uh, to work with and what I love about it is it's super convenient and it actually um, your rhinestone actually stays on very very well and I'm just gonna and I'm just applying on my gem just like that. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit more around there to make sure that the ring is really secure. Alright guys, and for my question of the day is what kind of fall design do you guys like to do the most? Like what's your favorite right now? And I think my favorite right now is the red and black combos. I've been doing a lot of it and I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna stop for a little while. After like two, three sets of the same color combo, I, I tend to like, oh, I, I overdid it, I'm gonna stop. But that, that was my thing, that was my fall thing, is red and black. So what is your favorite fall design to do right now? Mine could be anything, but just the red and black is what I love. And um, leave me your comment down below, and that's how you guys enter to the next giveaway. And um, as you guys know, I am only four weeks away from giving birth, so I hope that um, I will have way more videos set up for you guys soon, okay? I am going to be working really hard this last month just to make sure I have a lot of content for you guys. And for this nail, we're actually going to be doing a chrome on this one. So what I'm using right now is a non-cleansing gel top from Not Polish. It's called Glossit Top. It's called Glossit. And it's a non-cleansing gel top. And it's super shiny. And it does not get scratch scratchy when your client comes back, okay? It, it, it retains the shine really well. And what I'm doing right now is just put on the gel top, clean the edges, and then cure it. Okay, here's the tricky thing about chrome. If you under cure the gel top coat, the chrome, once you put it on, it will look really dull. It will not look shiny. And if you over cure it, the chrome won't stick to the top coat. So you just have to find that perfect, perfect amount of light on the top coat. So what I like to do is I like to test out with one finger first. Okay, you have to test out with one finger first. The reason is because if you do all 10 fingers, right? You put the non-cleansing non gel top on all 10 finger. You go to cure it underneath the light. And guess what? It's over cure. So now none of the comb is sticking to the top coat. So what you have to do is now you have to put another coat of top coat on top of that. So it's just gonna make the nail really thick, right? So the hardest thing to do about Chrome is just making sure that it gets enough light, not under, under cure or over cure. So just test with one finger first because some lamps are stronger and some lamps are a little bit weaker. So I can't tell you how long you're supposed to cure your top coat for. Like for my lamp, some lamps I have to cure for 15 seconds and some lamp I can only cure for 10 seconds and some lamp I have to cure at 20 seconds. So just test it with one finger first. And what 
I like to test it with first is usually at 15 seconds. Test your one finger first at 15 seconds. And if you feel like that it's at a good amount of light on it, the chrome is sticking to it and it gives you that perfect effect, then now you go in and paint on the top coat on the rest of the nails and then cure it for 15 seconds, right? And if it's not good at 15 seconds, then look, guess what? You didn't paint the other nine fingers and cure it and now you have to put on the top coat again. So just test out with one finger first just to make sure that you get the right amount of light before you do on all 10 fingers. I hope that makes sense, okay? And all I'm doing is applying my gem right now. The gems on and here we're gonna go in with a matted top coat from that polish also and I do recommend getting this matte on top of these gold rings you see don't worry if it gets on top of the gold just make sure it does not get on top of the gems if you get on top of the gold accessory on there it's fine I actually recommend it but just don't get it on top of the rhinestones, okay? And then we're gonna cure it, and this is the finished product. Super easy, right? Super simple. Well, not that simple, but... All right, it's super fall. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. Okay, what do you guys think about that video? If you like it, make sure you give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do not forget to leave a comment down below because that's how you enter to our next giveaway. So good luck to you guys all and I'll see you guys next time.